everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you don't already know me, my name is Ashley Ubley, and in today's video, I'm doing a first impression slash review slash smoky eye look. I did this look right here. Um, so today I used, actually I used a bunch of new products, but I mainly wanted to film this video because I had a company called Nerbestin kindly reach out to me and send me some products for review. So that is what I'm doing for them today in this video. Um, so I'm very excited for you guys all to see. Um, they are a company that kind of reminds me of Ulta here in the United States. Um, they're an online website and they sell cosmetic brands, makeup, they sell accessories for, I mean, makeup nail accessories, jewelry, um, I've seen on their website makeup organizers, so it's like plastic units where you can put like your palettes in and your lip glosses and lipsticks, like all of that stuff, so they have all of that on their website, so they are very affordable, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how affordable this company is, I was blown away by the prices, it literally beats drugstore makeup, it's cheaper than drug drugstore makeup and all the products I tried today honestly worked very well um, in my opinion definitely worked better than drugstore um, so I'm excited for you guys to watch and see all that so let me just show you what you guys what, I, what they sent me a brush set that I've used that are kind of a little bit dirty so they sent me these and it comes in a super super cute pink case and the handle here I'll show you some close-ups so here's one. So the tip of the, the bristles are light pink and the handle is like a metallic -y pink. So they're really, really cute. They're super soft. And face brushes. Another face brush. I did use them, so they're a little bit dirty, so I apologize. There's a bunch of different eyeshadow brushes. Highlighter brush, there's a brush for your brows, there's a brush for your lips. There's honestly really a brush for everything in this kit. So I did use a lot of the brushes in this tutorial. Um, they also kindly sent me a eyeliner, a liquid eyeliner. Look how cute this packaging is. Their products have the best packaging I've ever seen. I got a liquid um, eyeliner, it's like a felt tip, so that's what that looks like. So this, you'll guys see how that, that'll work. And then they sent me this as well, look how cute this is. See if you guys can see it better. It's a wine shaped bottle lip tint. So freaking cute. I'm, this honestly, I'm more, more excited to use this than all the other products. This is just so cute. One, because I love wine. Two, it's a lip tint, so you don't have like any creaminess on your lips, it doesn't feel dry, it's not sticky, it kinda just sits there and you don't even feel it. And three, I just, it's cute. So cute. So that's that. And then they also sent me a makeup sponge. It's a little dirty. So yeah, pink and everything is super cute and super cheap and thank you so much their best end for sending me these. I'm so excited that I got to use these and to further use them and I'm excited for all of you guys to see. So if you would like to see how these products work and to learn how to do this makeup tutorial here, please keep watching. Okay, so today we're going to start off with primer. Um, I'm using the One Heck of a Blot Primer by Soap and Glory, so I'm just gonna put that on my fingers and blend it in all over my face. So the next thing I'm going to do is correct my face because I do have some scars from my blemishes I had a couple weeks ago, so I just want to correct those and color them, cover them up. So I'm using the Becca Cosmetics Backlit Targeted Color Corrector in Green. And this is what you'll use if you want to color, cover up any um, redness on your face. So it kind of, the green counteracts the red and just will cover it up. So I'm 
going to be using that. And I will be using, let's see, I'll be using this brush from uh, the collection that Nerbestin sent me. So we'll see how this works. So far so good. I mean, it's working really well. Um, blending everything nicely. And I'm using patting motions. Um, I'm not like sweeping and blending that way. I'm using patting motions to blending because I I think this just covers up the redness on my skin better um, when I kind of pat the product on my face. I will just be covering all the redness up. Um, you can also use this green color to cover up um, any rosacea if you have it. I know um, that really helps with people when they have rosacea and they color correct it with green. So you can use that. Um, I don't have rosacea but I have some red in my cheeks so I don't cover up all the time because it's just an extra step but every now and then I like to cover it up and I'm going to be doing a full face today so we will be covering up all the redness. All right, so now that your skin's all covered up, um, you can kind of see it, but I blended a lot of it in to avoid seeing it once you put the foundation on top. So now that that's all taken care of, um, I'm going to be putting on my foundation. I am using a new foundation. I'm kind of using a lot of new products today, so I'm kind of excited. But I'm using the True Match Lumi L'Oreal Cushion Foundation, and I'm in the color N2, I think that has a name, Classic Ivory. I will be using that, so I'll show you what this looks like if you haven't seen it. I know a lot of beauty bloggers and gurus and just everyone in general, fashion bloggers, are raving about this foundation and I'm kind of late to jump on board to trying it, so let's just see what it looks like. But everyone says they love it, so I'm hoping I do too. Like the cushion. So I'm going to use I'm going to use this brush from the pink collection. Um, this brush isn't dense, so I don't know how well this is going to work with applying the foundation or blending it in. But we will try it out. So I'm just gonna dip that in. And just apply to my face. So, like I said, it's not very dense, so I can already tell it's not gonna do a great job blending it in. So I'm just kinda gonna use it to place the foundation onto my skin, and then I'm just going to use. Um, beauty blender that they gave me to blend it in. So here is the sponge, the makeup sponge that they gave me. Let's give this a shot. Ooh, this is nice. Alright, so this foundation is definitely medium coverage. It does cover very nicely blending really easily. So I'm just going to use my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and there's already a loofah on it with a wand so I'm not going to be using a brush um, to blend that in. And I am a concealer freak. I love applying so much concealer as you can see it's all over my eyes. Um, but you definitely don't need to put this much on. I just, crazy, crazy, crazy. All right, so now I'm going to be going back in with my makeup sponge and I'm going to be using the pointy end to um, dab everything in. So don't blend, you wanna dab. Actually, I really like this sponge. It's really nice and it's blending everything in really nicely. I think this makeup sponge was literally 99 cents. And I don't think I've ever seen a makeup sponge that cheap. So that's even better. And it works just as good as the other ones. It's definitely worth it. 
Alright, so that's all blended in. So now we're going to set the under eye. Um, I'm going to be using my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. You always want to make sure you set your under eye to avoid creasing and the fine lines under your eyes. I'll always set it. So now I'm going to set my face. Um, I'm using the Pure Cosmetics. 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup Powder, and this has an SPF of 15 in it, which is always good. And my tart brush, they don't have like a powder. The collection that I have, they don't have a powder brush. I'm just going to apply that. And this is my foundation powder, so it will give you a little more coverage. Um, so now I'm going to be bronzing my face up. I will be using my Guerlain Terracotta um, Jolie Tint. I'm not sure how you say that, but I'm in the color Natural Healthy Glow. It's Powder Duo, and this is what it looks like. So I'm going to be using this brush to apply it with. This is a nice, like, fluffy bronzer brush, bronzer, bronzer brush. <laughs> so that's what I'll be using that for. I like using these kinds of brushes because, like I said before in one of my previous videos, I don't really like a super sculpted contour, but this kind of gives you still a contour look, but it's not super sculpted. I'm going to Another bronzer on because that was a matte bronzer and I want some shimmer. Um, so I'm going to be using my Hourglass. <coughs> the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer and Radiant Bronze Light. So I'm going to be using the same brush. Brush pop palette, brush blush palettes. I cannot speak today, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm going to be using, I'm gonna use this color. I've never used this color before. But I have used these blushes and they're amazing. I mean, you get literally six blushes. Well, there's eight blushes, but these are kind of shimmer. So you can probably use them as highlighters. I've never dipped into them yet, so I'm not positive. But these six over here are matte. They're so pigmented. They last all day. They go on so smoothly. They're not patchy. Um, and I think this was $15 somewhere on there. I got an Ulta. So definitely, definitely worth investing in. Putting my blush. So now that that's applied, I'm going to apply my highlighter. So I'm going to be using the ColourPop highlighter in the shade Spoon. I'm going to be using my fan brush in the collection. So I'll do it and I'll be right back. Okay, so my brows are done. 
now it is time to start the eyes. So today I'm going to be doing a smoky eye. Um, so we will see how that goes. So I'm going to dip in to, let me see what the shade is. The shade is soft brown, so it looks like this. And I'm just going to put a little, little bit of that in my, my crease. Ooh, maybe I'll just use this. It's kind of like pointed edge. It's rounded. So I'll try that. I'm kind of just experimenting right now. I'm not really sure what's going to happen. I'm going to dip into... MAC Espresso. same technique as you would to do your cat eye and it's not as intense and it's not as bold Oops. Um, and you still get that cat eye look um, so now I'm going to take my MAC single shadow carbon which is a black brush but it's small and it'll really help me get this black out I'm just going to place this along the lid. So now I'm going to um, place some shadow my lower lash line. This is Rich Malvick Anastasia blush. It's like a sparkly chocolate brown. awesome. It's like very precise and it really helps you to shout it exactly where you want it. So now I'm going to add some bronze to it. that and now I'm going to go back in with my that with the shadow again just to get the center of my eyes is where I'm going to put it um, just to pop. I'm going to go back in with this. I'm going to space cowboy. I'm going to use, I'm going to dip into the shadow first and then I'm going to spray. I just think this, this way it, it applies better on the eyes. Some people like to spray the brush first and then dip into the shadow but the eyeshadow is all in. I'm going to use Urban Decay. It's the same shadow but a different color in Cosmic. I'm going to use that in my inner tear duct. My Morphe E18 brush. I always use this to highlight my inner tear duct. And then I'm going 
going to go in with another MAC eye call in the color Teddy. So it's a brown, looks like that. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line. Okay, and now I'm going to use the waterproof eyeliner. The brand is, let's see if I can say this right. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it right. Yankina? Yanquina? I don't know. But it's super cute. Look at that. It's got polka dot. It's black and pink. And kind of reminds me of Kat Von D's tattoo liner. Um, we'll see if it applies the same. So I'm not I'm not going to do a cat eye with this because I did the cat eye with my shadows, but I'm just gonna line my top eyelid and then I'm going to um, blend it a little. So it's not such a dark line. But... on that but I mean the tip the way it applies I mean it's the same as the Kat Von D one which I'm really impressed with because I think this eyeliner was six dollars maybe somewhere around there so and I'm going to <clears throat> clean up under my eye real quick and then I'm going to put my lashes on and then I'll come back and do my lips okay so now my lashes are on this is what they look like I used, um, they are the Eiler London Luxe um, Mink Effect Lashes. They're the opulent, so this is what the outside of them looks like. So now it's time for the lips. So I'm going to be using the Lip Hot Red, Lip Hot, Lip Hop Red Lip Gloss. It's a wine lip tint and look freaking cute this lip gloss is with a lip tint. It's, it's literally in the shade of a wine bottle. Has anyone ever seen anything like this because I have not and this is so cute. I'm so excited to wear it. I got it in the shade 2. They had I think four different shades, four or five. So I picked this one and it's a moisturizing lip tint so that's that's always good because you to be moisturized. So this is what it is. It's got like a little wand. I'm gonna just swatch my wrist for you guys. So yeah, I think I'm going to um, I think I'm going to line my lips first because it is red. I always like lining my lips first with red. So I will be right back and go get a lip liner. Okay, so I picked my MAC lip pencil in Chic Trick. So it's this. Um, this is drying now, so the color is a little bit different. I don't know if you can see it on camera. But it is more of a... I don't know, it looks like this color. It's like a pinky red color. So it's not like a true red like I thought it was, which is fine. I mean, this is still super pretty. So I'm going to line my lips because I just like lining my lips better. I think it looks neater. So 
would have been even more awesome. down below and I will link each product from their best and down below. I have a 10% off coupon code. It is AED10 but I will link it down below for you guys. Um, it's also on my Instagram in the description box so make sure to go check that out. And yeah I mean actually I loved everything that I used today from them. The brushes were amazing. They're super soft. They felt really nice on my face. It wasn't... I know sometimes when I try new brushes and I use them on my face, it feels very rough. Um, but these didn't feel like that at all. Um, so those are really nice. And they're pink and pretty. And it came in... I'll show you the case. It came in like a little pouch. So you can just kind of um, wrap that up. So this is what it looks like. Super cute. Let's flap up they are so that's that and then also the lip tint and the beauty blender was awesome the eyeliner is amazing you can see it definitely a dupe so far for the cat Bondi tattoo liner but i will let you guys know how it wears i'll keep you guys updated on that but yeah definitely check out their website um i'll link it down below again let me know if you guys get some products because I'd love to see what you guys get. Um, thank you, Nir Bestman, for sending me all these. I love them so much and I appreciate it so much. So thank you and until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video.